Hey, pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Boric, and a pleasant special thanks to the 170 that have subbed already. If you enjoy the content, please consider subscribing to keep us going and growing. And also, you do 20% off, enter Steel Flyers in the Manscaped, and also you get free shipping. But in the first edition of the Ponky Take, we're going to talk, unfortunately, about the AHL teams dealing with COVID issues. Obviously, uh, this is very unfortunate. Also, the Bakersfield um, Condors, they are dealing with the COVID issues as well, as well, excuse me, as their game against the Henderson Silver Knight has been postponed tomorrow as well. But that was not in the announcing of all this because they were just announced that their games were postponed just as the AHL pretty much had to deal with all these other teams in Rochester, Hartford, uh, the Springfield uh, Thunderbirds, Hershey Bears, and Providence Bruins dealing with their COVID issues. So, obviously, first and foremost, we hope and pray everybody comes back as quickly and recovers as quickly and well as possible. The uh, Islanders are playing the first game in the NHL tonight, coming back from their COVID bout, and then we obviously are very thankful to see that, and we're very thankful to see that Bridgeport's on track to play on Sunday. And then the next game, I believe, is December 7th, that would be for the Condors, and they're hopefully going to be on track to be able to play by next week, by the 7th. But Rochester is suspended through tomorrow, December 3rd. They were 11-6 and six, uh, when suspended. Hartford suspended through the 4th, as well as the Springfield Thunderbirds. Hartford, the Rangers, a minor league affiliate, 12-4-2. Thunderbirds, second best team in the league to the absolutely ridiculous on fire, Utica Comets, 14-3-2. Um, the the reason I bring up the records is, obviously, again, the biggest thing is these guys getting back healthy and playing the game they love. But, obviously, when we've seen in the AHL and NHL, whoever's had it, it usually takes a little bit to get back, and it takes teams in general a little bit to get back when they're off for a couple days. So, obviously, you want to see these teams get back as soon as possible and have these guys get back as soon as possible so they can stay in their routines as well as, obviously, getting as healthy as soon as possible to play the game that they love and cherish. Um, the Hershey Bears and Providence Bruins are suspended through the fifth, and they are eight six and two one eight six two and one for the Bears, and eight five three and one for the Bruins. Right now, with the Condors, they weren't mentioned into being suspended through whatever. I think it's because after tomorrow against the Henderson Silver Knights, that was um, postponed. Um, they don't play until the 7th anyway, so the AHL doesn't have to worry about that until down the line, and hopefully we have to pray that those guys are going to be fine in Bakersfield, the Edmonton Oilers affiliate, and you're not going to have any issues there, and it's just going to be a couple people and not up to the 10s and teens that some of these other teams have had to deal with, where Bridgeport and the Islanders were the only one that really expanded mega, which was really concerning between the NHL and AHL roster. So it's going to be interesting to see. They initiated a more strict protocols. It's going to be interesting to see if they're going to have to do more as the months get colder, where the science shows, obviously, that it could be a little bit more of a issue, even with people vaccinated, the cases that break through, as we're seeing with our hockey players. We're going to have to see what happens if they do more of a little bit of a lockdown thing. If it becomes a problem again, which the players aren't going to like, but it might just be for the betterment of everybody, so you don't have to go through this. Because if you have to continue to go through a COVID, see, you're going to have to have teams and be prepared for it to happen. But if you have three, four, five teams out at a time and you're delaying it for days at a time each time, that pushes back the season days and you wanted it to be more at an even regular pace this year and that's not going to happen if you keep having to do that that's why we might have to go back to some of the protocols of last year which is not going to be fun for the player but it might be something they will have to do just to be able to kind of limit this a little bit so this doesn't happen but that's just some thoughts and opinions that I had on it Obviously, first and foremost, we want to see the Hershey Bears, Providence Bruins, Springfield Thunderbirds, Hartford Wolfpack, uh, Bakersfield Condors, and Rochester Americans get back to the ice. They're all fun teams to watch. All of them actually were performing really solid this year, above 500 team. And Bakersfield, I think, was 6-6, six and six, so they were at 500. So these are teams we all want to see back, get back on the ice. But no matter what, the first and foremost thing is the health of these players, getting them back 
doing what's best for them going forward so we don't keep having these same issues. And then that's something that the league's got to figure out. All things considered, though, this is something we never had to deal with in history. So I think all things considered, they're doing fine. Now it's just about figuring it out and finding the best path going forward. But peace out, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed the first edition of the Ponky Take. As we talked about unfortunate news of teams going through COVID. But then in my next video, we're going to talk about fortunate news, which is the stars of the month, which is obviously a lot more fun and happy topic to talk about. Again, hope and pray all these guys get well as soon as possible and all these great teams in the American Hockey League are back playing the game they love as soon as possible. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe.